Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dreams Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Alicia's journey in the 100th episode of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 7. I want to discuss the idea of Padre and whether or not we think that Alicia will be saved by her mother at the end of the episode. We don't even know if that place is real. We might actually have some place to go. Alright guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another discussion topic video leading up to what is the 100th episode of Fear the Walking Dead this Sunday, episode 15, titled Amina. So, uh, I want to discuss, obviously, one of the things going on in the preview. Obviously, we've had a few days to kind of uh, sit on the Fear episode. Uh, my opinions still stand. Uh, if you haven't seen some of the recent Fear videos on the channel, we have the review uh, for episode uh, 14 and the predictions for episode 15, as well as a Q&A uh, talking about the war and kind of, you know, us reflecting on that. But uh, in today's video, we're going to discuss Alicia and uh, what exactly her game plan is here and what exactly she is up to in episode 15. So what we can gather from the preview, it appears based off as well, the description that we got for this episode a while back is that Alicia is going to go out on her separate mission uh, to find somebody in the nuclear fallout. Now, who is this person that she is looking for? Who is the person she's looking for? And I swear to God, and this is the first thing I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up because I can already guarantee this is probably where this is going. She is probably going to say that she has to find that little girl in her dream. I can guarantee you that is what she's about to do uh, because who else would she be looking for, right? You know, Strand is redeemed at this point. He's, you know, he's not going to be out in the nuclear fallout. Morgan and the rest of the crew, uh, obviously Morgan is out there on the raft, but you know, she wouldn't go after him. Obviously that's the crew that's going to meet up with him. So obviously it can't be anybody from our, from our group. So, uh, you know, it, it's a big question of like, okay, so who is she going to be looking for? Now, one of the other things that some people brought up is that we do see her approach the Althea SWAT vehicle. So is she searching for Althea? Is that what she's doing? I, I find that kind of random to believe that she would just randomly go looking for Althea. But again, that is one that I've heard some people bring up. Uh, I don't know if that would really be a plot that they would want to introduce, especially because Maggie Grace, the actress for uh, Althea, uh, left the show. So I feel like they would want to kind of just kind of forget about that at this point. But again, we'll have to see. Uh, unless it was just because she was having a baby and she actually manages to come back or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I will admit it is a bit weird that Althea's vehicle is there and Alicia seems to enter the vehicle and all that kind of stuff but this is another one that I've heard people bring up and this is obviously the most you know obvious one uh, is that she's looking for Madison so in the preview for this half season there was a scene where she is looking at a gun where Alicia is looking close up at a gun and a lot of people think that that could be Madison's gun that she somehow discovers and if she discovers that would she tell them like hey look you go find a safe place, but I got to find Madison. You know, if this gun is here, she might be nearby. She might be alive. Like I'm not leaving, you know, that could be a pretty interesting arc if they go there. However, if it's her trying to find the little girl in her dream, I swear to God, I'm going to flaw the hell out of that. I mean, seriously. And the reason why I'm even bringing that up as a possibility is because this season is national stupid decisions season, right? So that would not surprise me at all if Alicia's like, yo, guys, I got to go find, you know, the girl that, you know, was in my dream. You know, I can't leave until I find her because the same woman is in the preview in the SWAT vehicle. She's more grown up, but it's the same outfit as the girl she saw in her dream. So... It just begs the question once again, is that the route they're going? Is she going to go after an imaginary person and then in the end it's going to become real? Now, okay, one thing is her determination and the other thing is what happens to Alicia because we see her passed out in the trailer. Again, what else is new? Does she get rescued by Padre slash Madison? And my answer is yes. I think that's what they're going to do and... I think the episode will end on a cliffhanger with Madison because they can't keep stalling it. They can't keep putting it off. Also because the episode title is Amina. So obviously 
that kind of tells you right there that, you know, Madison is going to be in this episode. It's more than likely going to be at the end. But either way, yeah, Madison's coming back. So I do think that they're going to rescue Alicia. Uh, however this goes, again, it's it's a really big question at the moment. But we're just going to have to see. We're going to have to see what happens. I think the Madison Padre crew will be the one to save Alicia in this episode. Uh, but like I said, that was my opinion. Now let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Madison will save Alicia? I say yes. And do you think Alicia is going after that freaking little girl in that dream again? Or do you think it is related to Alicia finding the gun and that triggers her to go out there and try to see if Madison's still alive? So let me know and, uh, you know, do you guys, you know, agree with that theory? Do you guys think it's something else? Um, you know, we really never know if Fear the Walking Dead. I mean, it, it's one of the most unpredictable shows. Um, I could actually say it does throw through a lot of, you know, curveballs. I mean, I may talk crap about this show, but one thing I'll give it, it does surprise me at times. It does. It definitely throws me through a loop at, you know, odd points. So anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Write your comments, comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss some of my videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walking Review, subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. We will tell you who you're going to be from now on.